Hi, I'm Sean Flanagan and I'm a professional jockey. I'm delighted to have you follow me for the day. We're very busy, plenty of horses here at the minute, so I, I, I come here four mornings a week and um, I get here uh, on a Tuesday and Wednesday is kind of working school mornings and then Friday and Saturday kind of do a bit more on a Friday and Saturday is a long steady and Saturday is handy for me to come here too. We obviously finish early and the race 90% of the time is around here. We've got a fantastic grass gallop here and, and uh, big sand gallops as you'll see and uh, a lot of the younger horses will have a spin on the grass uh, and uh, then the older horses will work on the sand and it depends on when they're going, if they're, if they're only up in their fitness or if they have a target in mind that they're garden going to run sometime soon, um, they'll do a piece accordingly kind of and, uh, and we go from there, you know. For a long time throughout the career, I suppose I would have counted myself quite lucky as regarding injury, you know, and I suppose that was probably the Rocky Dawes Parish and I had a, a bad couple, a couple of years of it now. In the space of four or five months, uh, I, I uh, shattered my jaw and fractured my skull in one belt and then um, just back after the lockdown and uh, I, uh, I broke my, split, uh, my, my sternum. Um, there weren't very lengthy, uh, lengthy absences, uh, I suppose they were painful at the time. And, uh, uh, but it, it's it's nearly more painful to sit and watch someone else ride winners uh, on the horses you should be riding than it is physical pain, you know. He rode out for me a little bit uh, on and off there when he came back from America, and then uh, he disappeared off the scene for a while because he wasn't getting anything in the yard, and then he came back and started riding out again. We're always kind of singing off the same hymn sheet, more or less. He might say something to me, and I'd agree or disagree, and I'd say something to him, and he'd agree or disagree, and that's the way we work it, you know, and I think it's crucial for any rider to know any horse. We've learned to deal with it now the way it is. Um, it's very, very safe and secure, you know, we, everyone always wears the masks. So basically I go in, uh, it's a one-way system in the way, so in the back door, my colours and all my saddle and all is all laid out. Um, I get on the scales and, and uh, we get to the target weight that we have to be, that's in the way. And then we come out to where the outside scale is and uh, Pat Malone is clock of the scales today. So he types in my number and it comes up on the screen and that is automatically registered straight back to the IHRB um, and it's registered there. And that's my weight is declared and uh, then I hand the saddle straight out to Emma. You, you can't leave it anywhere else, it has to go straight to Emma and straight onto the horse's back. Um, so that, that's what I've done there and then I've come out and we've, we've had a talk about what we're going to do with myself and Noel um, with this horse today. He's, he's a classy enough flat horse, albeit still a maiden, but he's a classy enough flat horse. Noel is he's training 50 years this year. Um, he doesn't miss much in a race, so there's nothing that I'm going to tell him uh, that he doesn't hasn't already seen really. You know, it's it's generally a chat about he done X, Y, and Z at this point, or maybe he made a noise, or maybe he didn't, um, and and that's kind of it. You know, when we get to the race and we're, we're talking about the race, we're usually talking about the other horse in the race, what what might go on and what mightn't go on, and what you know. It's a big help when you're riding work and you can sort of you have somebody to to, to depend on when they ride work and they've, like they're able to give you the insight into, into how a horse feels or what they think the distance might be. There might be some little clink in his arm or that, that if you didn't know you, you might think it's something else you know so uh, I'm in there and I enjoy riding out in there and I enjoy riding horses we're delighted to be able to be racing them whenever it takes really I think we're, we're fairly superior in the way it's been run so far you know.